Good morning. Good morning. Brody surprise is showing up today. What is it? I'll see. It's the thing you can't tell me about either. <laughs> uh, it isn't the surprise for you. It's the surprise. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Can I know the surprise early? Well, it'll be here shortly. I'll leave the suspense be. Well, all right, it's there. <laughs> So what are we doing? Uh, so far I'm just making a spot in the book for maintenance records. Seeing as I tend to slack on those. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. So this is the new number two. Which isn't logoed up yet or numbered yet. No. I need to order stickers. I should do that. When you do that, order about 45 of these because <laughs> they just vanish. <laughs> Someone is stealing So these. we do this. Obviously, all the pink slips are different pages of different equipment, and we try our best to write down, to remember to write down what we do so that we know, and then we have pages, lots of lots of lots of pages of mm -hmm. documents. Helps which you look back. Yeah, and then you know when oils were changed and belts were replaced. And God, I gotta write this one in. Oh, he's forgot. We got, no, we're getting rid of, well, I don't even have to cross it out. It's just the new. Big Wheels is gone. <laughs> and the new 790. And it's here. named the exact same thing because it is the same thing. Yes. So we just rip those pages out and forget about the maintenance of it. Oh, and the little thin Sharpie, the, the skinnier Sharpie markers, not yeah. the big fat one. Yeah, that's gone too. Everything's gone. <laughs> Brody, it's here. The thing we've been waiting for. Yep. We, we bought something for Eric. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did you tell him? Oh, he doesn't know. <laughs> Alright, he's out front. Me and Brody will be out there. Are you sure we don't need a skid loader though? It might be. We'll try this first. I'll get the door for you if you don't have an opener. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's so much fun. <laughs> So for those that don't know about this, we bought this man lift a while ago and Brody's very disappointed because I told him we didn't find anyone or didn't find one to buy. So he has no idea this is happening. Are we ready? He's telling me if he goes back. Oh, that Brody! What? It's for me! <laughs> it's for you! <laughs> So you were lying the whole time. <laughs> Aren't you happy? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's so confused. <laughs> this is not gonna make me like heights anymore. <laughs> we didn't come up empty handed that day. Did that we? wire under there. Safety. It's Safety a ground. Switch. Is this going to lift it? Oh, no, I'm going to hit that ball. <laughs> yep. yep. A little bit more, maybe. Yep. yep. Six inches. You can't go around. Oh, out. you're hitting it big. You've got a big movie. So it does. Wow. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. What? Did you get that? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> what, Brody? I had a feeling. You had a Jet, feeling. Jet, don't go somewhere and just get empty handed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's not how the Larsons work. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, well, let's just say that we were disappointed. What so. took so long to get it? Uh, it had service. been service. One ninety nine. We we should have uh, we should have just went to this place right away because it's actually where we got that forklift from, and they got literally everything that you. Ever if, need if you it's one of them deals like the Bobcat place if you can't find what you're looking for there then you might be too fussy but is it a rental no this or is a not. sale it was a sale oh, good. yeah do we know how to run it no <laughs> kind of <laughs> you know that driver he uh, looked like I did the first time you pulled the coon tail out and stuck it in my face. <laughs> he was scared. I he don't think out he, of here. he was not gonna. He wasn't expecting a guy I with a camera. I don't know if he was even a, uh, told about what might happen here. <laughs> There's no juice. <laughs> He's confused. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! It's so smooth. <laughs> We're gonna have to disconnect the beeper. That might drive a guy nuts. Look at him go! <laughs> How high does this go? 19 feet. 19, 19 feet up, so you'll be able to reach about 20 feet, 25. Hey Brody, you're missing the screw up there, so just watch out. How <laughs> great. Go higher. <laughs> He's scared. He's scared. <laughs> He's slowing down. He's really getting nervous. That thing really goes up there. I'm scared, but I ain't up there. <laughs> It still got higher. Right, the beeper's unplugged. He unplugged <laughs> the beeper already. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to do something with that. We'll get a ton of water. Look at this. So it's this, so smooth. this is, uh, this is, this is a hundred and ten percent pot for Brody to use for power washing, so that we don't have to stand and die on top of that. <laughs> What do you think? That's gonna be nice. What's the whole slide gate on top? Is oh, that a platform? Move? Yeah. Brody. Oh, he's already practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. He's practicing. So if you uh you can slide it all on this, the neck comes out this way. Step on the, the release there. So now you can like drive up nice and close to stuff and get up over. It's, it's going to be sweet. Take it for a spinner. Can, can you stand out there with it all the way up? I would assume so. Yeah. I ain't going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other brand that was more jerky? Is this? I can't remember now. Is this got more computer boards on it? Or? I think so. Oh, this is... The computer board, I think. So. The ones that aren't computer boards are, are a little jerky, aggressive. but are a little better in wash bay area scenarios. But he said to always get it out of here at night. Now you listening, Brody? At nighttime, when you're done washing, you're supposed to get this out of the humid area so that it dries off. Okay. And I believe it's an onboard charger, so we just plug this in. Well, and away it goes charging. There's a plug-in on the other side too. One's for the outlet. Oh, yeah. We can plug stuff in way up high. Oh, I can see this getting used way more than we think. Down at the bend site, we'll drive it down or we'll haul it down there. Do they make aftermarket tires so we no. can have more tread? <laughs> he wants the off-road model. There ain't much more room to go bigger tires. I was doing some internet searching. You can get this style stuck. 
on tracks. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> How does it turn then, or it's just four tracks? No, it's two, it's like a two track. Yeah. Well, think you, of how then nimble. You would get it stuck. <laughs> think of how nimble that would be. Yeah. Take your first spin, Eric. I'm, I'm good. You want to go up? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is yours, bro. <laughs> it does feel a little off. When you're getting high. Did you see how they got the key, bro? Yeah, I think I. It's all smart. See what you did. What's this? You're not properly grounded. You need a plastic bag to put over there. What's the dude just Take him for a ride. Oh, man, even at the base, all the way down is a nice washing level. Hey! Hey! They've overrode me! That's the problem with these. If you're up, someone can override you and just turn the key up and yep. yank it down. Yep. Uh. See ya! Are you serious? Hey! We're going for dinner. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you could really play some mean pranks with that. It would be so easy. See if you got power. To you. Oh, wrong way. There we go. There we go. Coming down. Oh, this is going to be nice. You're going to weld up a little pressure gun holder? Nice balls. <laughs> He'll have a big rack here for his foam cannon. <laughs> that whole shelf will be mounted here. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Yeah. Does this excite you, Brody? It does. It does. Once you have one, you it'll be over there all the time now. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yep. I'll never have to climb a ladder again. So we used to use that little order picker, but that thing seems to have a lot of issues now. Plus, it was very dangerous to operate around equipment just because of how it steered and very, very, very dangerous. And it was too wide. The basket was too wide in here when you were washing combines and stuff. It, there's a light up there that's busted from it. <laughs> this is gonna work nice. <laughs> oh, he's gonna enjoy washing even more now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. that scoots along pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're moving into the next project. We gotta put a bend sweep in. Look at Brody go. You can hardly tell he's there. Uh, we gotta put a bend sweep in. We're hauling soybeans out. And uh, 25,000 bushel bend just ran empty. Time to get the sweep in. Hello, boys. We don't feel like lifting a lot, so we want your help. My spine already popped. <laughs> I like how Eric's on the end with the motor. Brody's not doing anything. <laughs> <Bullcrap>. <laughs> I feel the weight. <laughs> this hanger bearing is also not looking too well. I love power sweeps so much. Wow! This is where the fun is. Okay, make sure the bolts aren't in the sump. Do we have to get the truck under and run it a little bit so we can see what we're doing? I think so. Okay. I'm gonna stand right here in the center. No, get out of there. Well, that's a loaded up truck. I think he's putting fuel on. The elevator actually uh, closed down early today because it's a Friday. So he's he's got an early day off. And now that we got everything set up and the wires and everything, we had done hook and roll everything up because we want to close the bend door for the weekend. But that's the that's the gist of cleaning a bend out or this bend out. 
the new bend sweeps with the uh, uh, the sweep that stays in the bend and you fill on top of it. That's definitely the nice way. The older bends, all those were you had to carry the sweep in. This bend actually used to be like that too, only you took the sweep off and you laid it beside, and then you had to shovel a bunch to to uh, get it uncovered and up and running. The ones that are driven from the outside of the bend are by far the nicest. Just pull a lever and away you go. I got a delivery. The deliveries are showing up everywhere today. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Open her up, it's yours. <laughs> is it something I can cut? I don't want to break something, I don't even know what it is. Holy cow, what do we got here? <laughs> Upgrade. Something I was going to do last winter that I uh, never did, never pulled the trigger on. But it's going to be used for, do you know? A wet kit? Yes. I like for that. exactly, this is very fitting. It's here to and when we, we can go show mm -hmm. why this is going to be so great. So it's a little hydraulic. Uh, pump on a <laughs> Honda engine that, well, I'll show you when we get, you get that trailer in there. Yeah, it's going to work out great. We'll have it running. We're going to go over and grab the excavator and dozer, get it on the yard because it's winter time is uh, set on to the ground. So we will not be doing any more excavating. So it's time to move that I'll stuff home and even come with one of these then we can work there. on the trailer. Look, it has no engine oil in it, Brody. Don't blow up another one. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Look at him. He's fun <laughs> size. <laughs> yep. Either I got weak, weaker in Florida or you gained all the weight from me eating all that seafood. Yeah, I don't know which one. Where are you going to put this on the trailer? The front. That, we we've got lots right of right decisions right. to make. Well, we'll get into that later. I think you got an idea of what that hydraulic pump is for. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. So the excavator and dozer um, were over here. Uh, if you didn't see, we banked back this, this road ditch. Um, it's a private drive up to what we call Fred's yard. And we store a lot of equipment up here. Well, the hope is, is that we will be able to farm over this driveway. We're still gonna have this driveway here. Uh, we're just gonna not have headlands here. And then we'll be able to, in theory, plant, spray, harvest over uh, the driveway, less headlands, more efficient. Obviously, grounds froze up now. We are done with the excavators. We want them back at the yard in case of uh, dead batteries in the spring. There is no power here any longer, so we gotta get stuff moved home. So this is what that little power pack motor is going to do. Instead of uh, hydraulics on the tractor to run it uh, we're gonna hopefully some somewhere be able to uh, mount it on this trailer so we just fire up our gas engine one guy can do this instead of two to three guys pretty nice hopefully if we can find a clean spot to mount it and uh, maybe it might be this afternoon's project that was a, something I talked about I think it was last fall and uh, never got around to it didn't have the time and kind of forgot about the project. Well, now we're finally doing it. Now we're here to get the excavator home. Now it's 
looks so sketchy and he's really crooked. What is he doing? He's got crooked. Get off the trailer without snapping my hoses off. Get, oh, get off the trailer, please. It's like it's his first time. Funny, that didn't destroy something. If there's a side that you want to slide off, it's not this side because the hoses go in there. <laughs> that could have gotten exciting really quickly there. The deck is slippery. She won't go, he said. <laughs> The track's got frozen mud on them, so it's slippery. Rev it up! <laughs> I can see it, he's too close to this side. Gasser. <laughs> made it. Yeah, this here is frozen mud. It's very slippery. Popsicle, anyone? It was slippery mud. Slippery, uh, frosty mud. No, it was like the right track locked up and would not... It just wouldn't go. <laughs> but it sure wanted to go on the left side. It would have tipped me right off You of were there. this close from well, going my off. heart was that close from going to the hospital. <laughs> That might have been the last time you see this operator with a tractor until the carburetor gelled up and something bad happens. He's against this whole thing. I was going to buy a different trailer, but why do that when you can spend 4000 on a pony motor and hydraulic pump? And It'll just spend 40000 on a new trailer? But then you'd have some. <laughs> this is something. Oh, this is okay. This is something. Look at there, you're... you're Crossfire is telling you your tire is low. Yeah, that's the inside one. Must have a nail. It's not flat, it's just less full. Well, we've done some massive shop prearranging, and now he's getting into position to try to get the excavator trailer with the excavator on back over the pit so that we can run hoses and manufacture whatever thing we decide to design, right? Should go well. What are the rules to this? He's allowed one pull forward, you said? Because he is technically blind spot backing up right now. Right hand back. So this, we'll see what happens. We're clear. Come on in. There's his first pull forward. There he... <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. I could have directed him a little better, I'd be honest. I was looking down there. <laughs> he was going the opposite direction. Okay, straighten him out. Go left a little bit. Go left. How did he get so far over? <laughs> the uh, track is getting close to that bench, but he's good yet. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Go left more. You can. Your track is really close to that bench. He's good still. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Still looking good. Still looking good. Still looking good. Go left. Yeah, stop. Stop. You're going to have to get straighter. Come out. Yeah, right there. 
That ain't your friend right there. That's <laughs> tough. <laughs> what do you mean with the with the thing loaded on sideways? Yeah, I can't see. It. There's it's all excuses. <laughs> So now is when the brainstorming ha has to happen to know what everyone wants and can foresee as issues in the future. It is quite a big unit. I was thinking of mounting it right here in the middle. Obviously, that isn't going to work. So maybe above the tires. Dad talked about a swinging arm, which seems like an excessive amount of work and welding. Uh, but I like his theory because if we ever get a loading dock, some time where we could just drive stuff on that would be convenient but you'd need to be able to swing it out of the way so we got a lot of discussing the options what are you seeing i have never been under this trailer like this before me neither i did have the deck off once and welded this i-beam in oh what was why uh that was to try to beef up the leg pedestal issue that was happening all the time bandage so I put this in here to eliminate stuff moving which I my welds are holding what is this part you must uh, have been a was, scrap I mean yeah or something. it was something I bought wow for cheap what's this for uh, just something to catch the I don't remember what that was for it's definitely something I put there did you see the brakes what what brakes we need new brakes. I don't know if we're going to use them. <laughs> and the tires are dry routed. It's, it's not something that gets daily, so the maintenance has probably not been kept up. The got plenty of life on them. Oh, well, these, the uh, back rear axle. It's only one side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are. Well, they're not completely shot, but they're getting there. I got down here and started pushing on this thing. I won't it move, and I was pushing harder, thinking it was caught on the tire, and yeah, we're draining. It was hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> Brainstorming. It's heavy. We lifted it up there, three of us. It's very heavy, and it's got no oil or gas in it yet. <laughs> so we are trying to. We know that this axle travels up and down. That's why there is. Um, no top to this trailer in this area because they come up and down so we may have to build a little lifting rise to give us more travel clearances still not set that this is where it's going but this really looks like the cleanest option for you know if he gets going aggressive like we witnessed earlier in this video <laughs> luckily on the other end of the trailer well, I think we got a pretty solid game plan uh, here with this. I think that is where it's going to be, only it's going to be on the other side so that the excavator operator can see it because it's totally invisible right now from the operator's seat. I think that's what we're going to do. I got one hose laid out that we took off of our planter when we converted it to high speed. <clears throat> and then I have this valve here that is going to be mounted either up here but i'm thinking now maybe mounting it on the inside cutting a hole and so then just the lever this thing sticks out and then you sit here and run it because well you've seen how it unfolds this whole thing goes to the ground so whether you start on the ground or end on the ground you're going to be in the same place so maybe sitting here is just fine and you can watch your linkage down there, make sure nothing's hitting, which is an actual issue that needs to be watched every time. So that's what we're thinking now, but unfortunately it's Friday and it's 5.30, so everyone's wanting to leave. But Dougo needs help, so we're gonna go help him quick. For like the last five videos, I think this is where we've ended it. We're tearing apart the bottom of this thing. He's got the biggest legs, so that's definitely the guy for the job. Take out the money maker. So this is, we're separating here, and then this is coming off the, why? Where are you bringing it? Well, I need uh, this thing out of the way a little bit more. Right. Dan's this? south side. <laughs> this looks like it could hurt. It's going to be rebuilding. Bro, do you want to take out that one bolt over there? Yeah. So I don't know if you're going to get, you don't look like the, he's holding it very well. right here. I know. Let's 
so I'm, someone's gonna have I don't to think he's ready, Brody. You got your both out? No. I don't either, so. <laughs> Eric doing that ain't gonna help much here, is it? I can't get in, otherwise I'm gonna be entered. Well, you wanna scoot, yeah, oh boy. That right. would be a mark. <laughs> it's already getting <laughs> close. Uh, so someone hold the back, I got this end, and the unlucky person gets the heavy end. Okay, Brody. I, I got my good knee under it now, so. I'd love to help, but I can't even get in there. I'm taking the bolt out. It's a nice long one. Brody's bolt's out. I'm out. Dumb, dumb question. Can you leave a bolt in and knock it loose? These are in still, right? Out? Doug? No, those are those loose. Are out. Oh. No, don't want to do that. So uh, now what? Do you want to? I don't know. Should we put two bolts back in and then let her drop only one inch? It takes the surprise out of it. <laughs> you want me to put so these two far. bolts back or the bolt back I'm in? I'm only going to thread it in like five threads. Coarse or fine threads? They are kind of finer. Should I get a pry bar? I don't okay, know. it's I in a few threads. I think she's coming. Or is there something that's not right? There ain't some hidden bolts up front that are not out yet, are there? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Good night. That ain't there, Brody. I don't want it. <laughs> He's actually using it. It don't work. It's coming. It's it coming. It's definitely coming apart. The pry bar had one last job in its oh. life. Should we take the bolts out now? Oh, you still got room with them. It's all for the gram. Okay, you're now on your bolt. I'm Brody's not. not on his. Oh yeah. Take it out? I wish I would have took mine out. It sacrifices that. Yeah, so it pile. slides forward and then yeah, then what? Well, then, gonna come then I get probed. Okay, I'm out. Can we get another guy? There we go. Oh, whoa! It's definitely not 80 pounds. You guys had this all built up and it's like a feather. <laughs> That's the best type of excitement. This ain't a feather to me. The non How far down she want to go? Oh boy. Oh. The, <laughs> the creeper's in the way! <laughs> I want to go for... Are you kidding? <laughs> hey, now push the motor. You're going to have to bump the motor up. Okay, we need How to much switch more on the other side? We need to get it off the concrete before you lift it up. Uh, just pull it back towards your, your way, right. uh, Eric. Okay, stop, stop. Oh, oh, I'm getting wet! <laughs> Lower it. More. Go up some more, I guess. Pull in. Oh, oh. Wow. Okay, straight down, or go down. You guys are... It's definitely. heavier than it looks. Yeah, I bet. Gotta go. Oh. Then I have to go up a little bit more yet. I don't want my hand to get touched. Okay. Okay, we're out. What is, what is that? Do you slide it or do you Why is slide? that laying there like that? That ain't good. <laughs> Why is that there? I might have to hire somebody to come out and put this together. <laughs> What's... Oh, there's some, the there's some carnage <laughs> here. There's some it's wear. Loose. It's loose. Oh boy. That That's where your water pump is. That's where the bark got lodged when you jammed this yeah, hole full that's of what got all destroyed. Bark. Never seen one of these like this. Very interesting. I don't know what that is, so oh. why would that bust out another thousand? Okay, pull her back. This looks and like something that would down. really be expensive. Do you care if I slide it? No, you can slide it. It slid across the rocks. <laughs> it ain't gonna hurt the cement. <laughs> Lay her down now to the west. Uh -huh. I don't know, I'm not really doing much. Me neither. I don't want to break it. Well, maybe we don't need that on. <laughs> we'll just make it make sounds like it's uh, sure, a boat. The bolt of the motor. We'll just float Probably. around the lake. Bust out another thousand. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will be interesting. We'll update you when, when that gets fixed. <laughs> and the disappointment, I'm sure it will be. 
But nonetheless, I think that's the end of the day, end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something. It was fun, and I'm excited about this project, and so are they. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.